Hey, I'm John Cooney. And I'm Gabe Aniel. And we're here with Corporate Audio Visual. And we're going to show you some stuff on this board, which is the Behringer X32 producer. All right, John, you got some questions about this puppy. What would you like to know first? Yeah, well, so there's a lot of things on here that I'm aware of that can speed up your workflow. One thing I'm interested in learning to speed up my workflow is how one might copy and paste settings from one channel to another. Oh, cool. So let's say you're working on this channel here, which is a podium microphone. No, let's call it the handheld microphone because you're going to have two Q&A mics, and these handheld microphones are going to be pretty much identical. Mm -hmm. So when you're ringing out the room with this handheld, let's say I'm going to press a bunch of stuff. I'm going to uh, select it. I'm going to mute it. I'm going to put some random EQ and compressor stuff on it. Handhelds in general, as, a, as an EQ tip, um, I always bring up to 160 hertz at low cut, 163, because no human voice really needs to be that low for any kind of a, a speech or right. a Q&A session. Right. Remember, this is all corporate yep. audio not in the Stuff. studio here. You're not in the studio here. No Barry White needed. Mm -hmm. All right, compressor. The compressor, what I like to do with the compressor also is bring it up to 5.1 ratio, 5.0 ratio. Mm -hmm. And um, as you see someone speaking, you'll just kind of like yep. adjust the tool when you need it. Now I have the perfect EQ, mm -hmm. and I want to copy and paste this channel to the next channel. Mm -hmm. All of it, though. We want to do, we want right. to do all of it. So what I do is to start off as I hit home to make sure I'm at home base with that selected channel. And then what you're going to you're going to be using is a tool. So you're going to hit is utility. So once you open the utility box, um, you're going to see a set of boxes with each uh, tool next to it, if you will. So you have like the head amp configuration, name slash icon, gate compressor equalizer, sends slash main. Those are all checked off, they're filled in in yellow, which means all of that mm -hmm. is gonna copy over and paste to the next channel. Right. So over here in these little wheels and clickers, you're gonna see copy, I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna select the channel you wanna paste it over to, mm -hmm. which is handheld two, which is the next channel. I'm gonna come over and hit paste. You're gonna see a warning, it's gonna say paste channel settings, mm -hmm. question mark, from channel three to channel four. And I'm gonna go on the right arrow to confirm now, as you can see, the channel came up, and uh, you've copied it exactly now. Now, let's say that you need to copy over just the equalizer settings for uh, a, another microphone over here, but just the equalizer settings because everything else is different for some reason. Mm -hmm. so what I'll do is I go to the channel and I do want the equalizer settings too. I will go to the EQ and hit View. Now, since I'm viewing that EQ, I'll leave it in that window. Basically, whatever you're viewing is gonna be easier for you to select. And then I'm gonna hit Utility again. And you're gonna see that only Equalizer has been checked off or filled in, in or highlighted in yellow. Now, that's the easy way to do it. You could also take your knob and scroll it up and down and check what else you want to go with it. Right. That you can do yourself. Okay. But what I'm trying to do things fast, you know, if I'm working on this channel, mm -hmm. and I'll just go to the EQ, the utility, so, copy, right. come over here, paste, confirm, mm -hmm. and now that EQ, if I hit view, should be the same as this one. Mm -hmm. Now it didn't copy over the low cut because that's something else you got to check separate off. Setting, it's yep. a separate setting. Separate setting. So that's how you do copy-paste of settings. Okay.